What's up everybody, my name is Ryan Jennings and thank you for joining me on my first tutorial. Today we are talking about boomerangs. No, not the kind that you throw and they hardly ever come back, but the ones recently made popular by Instagram. Now you can download an app that will create the boomerang for you, but this hardly gives you any control over your videos. This is where Premiere Pro comes in. What Premiere Pro does is allow you to own your video. When you use Premiere Pro, any changes you make, it's all you. There's no automation that the app is going to do for you. You can deliberately do every single step. So this is how we're going to be able to create our perfect videos exactly how we like it. Let's get started. So first what we're going to do is we're going to open up Premiere Pro. And here we're just going to drag in our video. Alright, once we've dragged in our videos, we can look at it. We see that we have this whole long video. Maybe we don't want this whole thing, so we'll go to the start point. We'll hit I for the end point and O for the out point. And that'll cut our video down. And then we can resize it so it'll fill up our bar. Just makes it a little bit easier when it comes down to the editing. And we'll also make it a little bit taller so we can, we can see all that information that it's giving us. So next what we're going to do is we're going to hit this FX tab, Time Remapping, and click on Speed. Now what this does is this allows us to adjust the speed that we play back our video. Now for boomerangs, boomerangs aren't all the same speed. You start in the beginning very slow and then it quickly speed ramps up to a much faster paced video. And at the very end, it'll slow down. And then when it plays in reverse, it's the same thing. The beginning is slow, the middle is fast, and the very end piece is quick. So, what we're going to do here, since we don't want the whole thing to be fast, is we're going to select points that we want it to start speeding up faster. So we're going to go in here on our keyboard, we're going to click P, and we're going to select our start point near the beginning, and then our end point near the end. So once we've got these two pieces, we can speed up the middle, and it won't affect the outside pieces. So you see how the, the outsides have the, the lower bar, and the middle has that higher bar. And when you play that, once it hits that higher bar portion, the video will speed up. So the thing about these videos is it's a gradual increase in speed. It's not a sudden increase. And you can see in Premiere that it is a sudden increase because of the vertical lines that you have when it goes from the lower bar at the 100% speed versus the higher bar at the 1,000 or however high percent speed you have it set to. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to pull this video out just so it looks a little bit bigger and it's easier to edit like we did before. And where we set our point, we can pull on that inside bar at the very top and we can pull it inwards and this will um, create a gradient where it speeds up and where it slows back down. So it's not such an instant change in speed and it just looks a whole lot nicer. Now what I like to do for reasons of uniformity is count the same number of frames in until it reaches that highest point of speed. And I like to do the same thing on the outside. So whenever it's beginning, 14 frames in is the number I like to use. It will reach its highest speed and then from the end, 14 frames from the end is when it will begin slowing down. So what we do is we're going to go in here. I go to the very beginning of that little ramp that we created, the, uh, where it hits the highest point. Now count inwards on the frame. So we'll just go 14. We'll double click on the video. We'll press I again. That will reset our endpoint. And then we'll scroll out to the end. Count 14 frames from the top here. Double click, click O on the keyboard to set the out point. And we've got our new frame. Now, when we play this video, what we see is that the video is just a little too long than we want our boomerang. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to speed it up a little bit. Now, Premiere doesn't like to let you go above a thousand percent when you're trying to speed ramp videos. So what we have to do for that is create a go around. And this go around is by nesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to left click on our video and we're going to go up to nest. Now this is going to ask you if you want to nest. You hit yes and your video will turn green. Once your video turns green, you're going to repeat these steps. So we'll go up to the FX tab, um, get a time remapping, speed, and then we'll, this time, we'll count from the outside 14 frames in. 
so we are speeding up at the same time and we'll do that from the beginning and the end. Once we have our point set we can increase the speed on the centerpiece of it so we can just play around with that figure out what what we like the best move it up a little bit more maybe down just a touch and that looks good so what we're going to do now is we're going to just even out those bars a little bit like we did so it's just more gradual of a, an increase in speed now we like to see the final before we start um, making this into a true boomerang so we, we watch the video We like what we see. So now what we're gonna do is hold Alt and click on it and drag it over and that will duplicate your video. Once you've done this, you've got two identical videos but we want that second video to be in reverse. So what we're gonna do is right click on that second video and we're gonna click on speed slash duration. This is gonna pull up a window. Now when we play this from the beginning, it looks something like this. So it zooms forward, slows down, and then zooms back, exactly how we want it. So what we're going to do now to make it even more like a boomerang is highlight both of these videos, and we're going to nest these videos again. And this will create one solid video. We're just going to alt, hold down Alt, and then drag it over, and then we're going to do it again. And we've got about 10 seconds now of boomerangs. It goes back and forth, back and forth. And we can watch that just to make sure there's no gaps in the video. Everything. Thank you everybody for joining me on my first tutorial. I hope you found what you were looking for. And if you did and you learned something or you enjoyed it and you're looking for more later on, like, subscribe, and I'll be happy to have you on my next video. Thank you.